but my dad does because he's a mechanic. Gonna go to the grocery store together. But the sun is finally out. Welcome back to a new vlog if you're new if you're not welcome back to my channel. What's up? My name is Ivy This morning right now. I'm actually like doing some computer stuff already. It, I've been up since 630 It's 840 right now, and I do need to go grocery shopping today Weirdly enough. I've been putting it off a little bit. I need to go to Sam's and HEB Sam's because I need like big things like waters. I I never let myself get this bad I literally think I have like three water bottles left and that's it Normally, I always have like an extra case of water, but this time I don't know what happened I just kept forgetting things so I have a list this time I have to get ready and do all of that stuff and later tonight after Trevor gets out of work we are going to go watch a movie i've actually been waiting for this movie to come out for a bit so i'll tell you guys about that later but right now i'm just gonna do some work so you guys can hang out with me stuff now I'm gonna start getting ready because like I told you guys I really need to go grocery shopping I almost never put off grocery shopping but I don't know what it was that this time I was just like I don't feel like it but I'm gonna get ready I'm gonna do my hair put an outfit on so we can leave it's about to be 10 it's 9 46 I'm gonna do my makeup so that we can go to the store. I think I need to go to Sam's and H-E-B, but we'll see if I make it to both. <laughs> Hopefully, but we'll see. All right, friends. I got dressed, did my hair. Very sunny outside today, but I need to grab my grocery list and make sure that I don't forget anything because I tend to do that a lot. Okay, I think I'm good. I got my grocery list. Here are my shoes. It's actually a beautiful day outside. The weather has been nice. It stopped raining. I know in pretty much all the vlogs for the last, I think like two weeks, it's been raining and gloomy. The sun finally came out. It's actually very hot now. And I am trying to get back, back used to it being hot. I actually went on a walk yesterday and it was scorching. Like, I definitely should have taken, oof, where's my purse? Oh, I definitely should have taken a water with me, but I'm running out of water because I need to go grocery shopping. So, I'm trying to make sure I have everything. My list, my wallet, all of the things. And we are gonna go together. I actually, the keys are on the wall. Gonna go to the grocery store together. Just got into the car. Honestly, I'm digging these sunglasses. It's very hot outside. It says it's 84 degrees, but I feel like it's hotter. Might not be, but it feels like it's hotter. But the sun is finally out. I'm so happy. I actually, made sure to bring my mini <laughs> tripod with me i can put you guys in the basket but now i'm debating i think we're gonna go to sam's first because that's the farthest destination that we have to go to and then i'm thinking we'll go to i hate going to sam's by myself but i will get it done I need like bulk items like I need chicken from there I need waters I think I definitely need contact solution I'm out of contact solution as of today so that is not a mood and all of the other stuff I can basically get at HEB so letting my car kind of 
get settled first before we head out i don't know why i put off grocery shopping for so late but i did so here we are it's very 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 hot outside so i'm just kind of letting my car settle for a second which i don't know if i told you guys but last week when i was at my mom's house the check engine light came on and it's not here i did buy the part to fix the the thing that it said was wrong with it i think it was like the o2 sensor or something like that i don't know what that really means but my dad does because he's a mechanic so i bought the part and that was a whole nother situation because apparently the company like sent the wrong part or usps lost my part i don't know basically i had to get a part resent so that's what i had to deal with yesterday i had to call customer service which was fun now i'm waiting for an email from them to confirm that they sent my part but let's go ahead and get going i just want to get the grocery shopping over with it's 10 30 right now so let's go out there Just pulled up to Sam, so let's go get all the things I need. Most of, well, obviously I'm at Sam, so I need bulk items. Let's go grab those. We might walk around a little bit. I do have the tripod so I can put you guys in the, hello, in the basket. I can put you guys in the basket, which will be nice. So let's head inside. I'm going to grab my mask, and I think that's it. I'm in here now. I actually wanted to show you guys. Apparently, the blanket that I told you guys that reminds me a lot of the Barefoot Dreams dupe is now $22. Last time I messed up and I told you guys it was $12, I got it for $12, but they're $22. If you guys were really wanting that blanket and you didn't want to pay the $30 for it, this is going to be a really awkward angle just because I didn't want to put you guys up here. Do I need any of this stuff? No. Do I want to look at it? Yes. wasn't in there very long I'll give you guys a little haul once we get to the house pretty sure you guys saw a little overview of what I got but I have to drive home and then drop all of this stuff off and then go to HEB because I don't get everything here because I feel like I don't know I used to get a lot of stuff at Sam's and Costco when we lived in Hawaii because it was more cost-effective that way and just being real, the house here does not have a lot of storage. My house in Hawaii had so much more storage in the house. And this one here doesn't, so I don't buy a lot in bulk other than like water and things like that. So let's go ahead and head home. I need to cross off my list, like what I already got. Let's go have a little jam sesh and make our way home. just got inside the house 
But I wanted to show you guys what I got from the grocery store. So all of this stuff is just what I got from Sam's. We needed more milk. We had none. Trevor really loves strawberries, so I got him some strawberries. We needed more heavy whipping cream. This is my kryptonite. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me talk about these. If you don't follow me already, you can follow me now um, if you want to. I got some more asparagus. We've been eating a lot of asparagus. Trevor ran out of chicken the other day. And the last thing we got is <laughs> multi-purpose um, contact solution because I had none left. So this is what I got and two cases of water. So I'm going to put all this stuff away and then we're going to go to HEB together. I'm going to set you guys up because <laughs> obviously I have to put like this stuff in the freezer. This is a big bag of chicken, so we shouldn't have to buy chicken in a minute. And I need to put all of these away. Guys, if you have not already tried Chobani Flips, I highly suggest. Trevor and I don't even like yogurt like that, but we really love these. Trevor's favorites of these are my least favorites, so we really complement each other in that sense. All of those fit perfect. I started eating one of those little flips before I go to the store because I haven't eaten anything yet. And I know if I don't, I'm going to like hungry shop and I don't want to hungry shop. I want to get what I need, even though I probably will hungry shop a little bit. But I'm having the key lime flavor. It's this one. They're actually very good. So that's what I'm eating and I'm watching Alyssa Rose's vlog. If you guys also watch her, She's actually thinking about moving to Texas. Um, so she's here right now with her boyfriend checking out different areas. She's actually in my stomping grounds, Dallas. So. That's actually really fun to see someone who's not from here experiencing what you've grown up with your whole life. Does that make sense? So. I'm going to eat this and then we're going to head out to H-E-B, but I just didn't want to hungry eat. I'd rather have something in my stomach. Back out we go into the world. I just need to um, grab my headphones. Are you guys headphones people? Like, if you go to the grocery store or just, like, go out in general, do you wear your headphones inside the store so you can, like enjoy music I don't do that but I feel like I want to do that today so we're taking the airpods and let's go get into the car today has been a go-go day but I'm excited because tonight I'm gonna go to the movies and we are gonna go watch in the heights I've been waiting to watch this movie for literally so long I'm so excited because I'm finally gonna get to watch it so hold on let's go and then I'll tell you guys about the movie Trevor and I are very excited because we're gonna go watch In the Heights. Every single time I watched the preview for the movie, I cried. Be it is a Lin Manuel Miranda play. I didn't know it used to, or it was a play originally, but I'm excited to watch it. My friend watched it the other day and told me that she cried the whole movie because it was that good. So I'm very, very, very excited to watch it. I'm actually right here next to HEB and i just want to grab my groceries so i can go home i think me and trevor might do a little mini bonfire later at the house after our movie our movie's at five and he should be getting out of work at like three so i'm excited to watch the movie again i i love going to the movie theater me and trevor that was like our thing like date nights were always like movies because we both enjoy the movies so much so I'm excited to go to see In the Heights finally. It literally came out I think yesterday or the day before. So I'm excited. It was supposed to come out last year but obviously with the pandemic it was not able to like show or they just like postponed it because obviously everything was closed. So yeah I'm very 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 excited to watch this person is an idiot what are you okay you didn't have to be all that aggressive 
normally I never come grocery shopping on a Friday like ever so this is new for me hopefully it's not horribly busy Oh, yes, just for me. Someone's pu pulling out of their spot, and they literally are like the third person from the front of the row. So I'm excited about that. Yes. I park so close. I'm excited. Anyways, okay, let's get off at HEB. how much I love you because people in HEB have been staring at me for having my camera but I had no idea that HEB had this queso quesadilla like these types of cheeses I've never seen that before let's see what else I need on my list I'm in the sauce area have you guys ever tried like the HEB brand sauces like where they support local brands. I want to try like new barbecue sauces, but I just don't know what to try. So if you guys have any suggestions, let a girl know. We successfully got out of HEB. It's so hot outside. I thought I lost my mic to my camera and I didn't vlog a lot in there because lots of people were staring at me with my camera, so sorry about that, but now we can go home in peace. It's 1, Trevor should be getting out of work at 3, and I'm pretty sure we're going to go grab lunch slash dinner. I need to ask him what he wants to get now. I can go home. I literally was sitting here looking through my whole purse for my mic and it was inside the basket that I left. So thank God I found it because I did not want to pay more money to go buy a new one. Okay, I'm good. I try to be very cautious when backing out of spots because people don't like to pay attention <laughs> y'all today it is too hot to function before i sit here and do the dishes let's do a quick grocery haul of the stuff i got while i was at heb first we'll start with trevor really likes the heb brand chocolate milk so i went ahead and got ugh. i went ahead and got him that and also we had i think like three eggs so i got some more eggs i got H-E-B brand Dr. Pepper. I actually want to try this. I always get the small cans just because I never finish big cans. Like, no matter what it is, I will never finish it. So, let's try it and taste it since it's, like, this tiny. It tastes pretty close to, to Dr. Pepper. I think it tastes a little bit more cherry, but tastes like it'll do the job basically I got two spray oils one is coconut oil spray and I don't think I've ever talked about this on my channel I love truffle flavored things if you guys have never had like truffle mayo I use that on my like grilled cheese sandwiches chef's kiss it's amazing if you haven't tried truffle definitely try it at least once like truffle mac and cheese delicious but I saw this black truffle flavored extra virgin olive oil spray. So I want to try that. I needed sprays anyways. And I wanted to get this one too just in case like. Because I don't want to use truffle on every single thing that I cook. And I use spray oil for a lot of things. So I got these two. Also my grocery bill came out to like $30. So really not bad for all the things that I bought. Um, I got ricotta cheese. I got two crowns of broccoli. We ran out of pasta sauce, so I got two of the garlic and herb, just the H-E-B brand. Honestly, I'm obsessed with the H-E-B brand as a whole. I think that their stuff is really nice and like comparable to what you would get other places. I got Parmesan. 
I want to try making, I know I mentioned this in another vlog, but I want to try making vodka pot, or is it spicy fusilli, and that required tomato paste, so I got that. I got two squash. I actually got Trevor to start liking squash, which was very surprising, but I got squash and just extra sharp cheddar cheese. And that was it for my groceries. I really didn't go crazy, but I'm going to put everything away, and then I think I'm going to make myself a quesadilla with these, I didn't buy these today, but these HEV brand tortillas, the butter tortillas to be exact. Make sure to get the butter ones are the best. So if you haven't tried them yet, definitely try them. I'm going to make myself a quesadilla for lunch so I can have something to eat. And then uh, I'm probably just going to relax for a little while. I don't have a vlog to edit right now because I have all my stuff edited and the thumbnails. So I'm ahead of schedule. Haven't talked to you in a bit, but I was actually editing the vlog you're watching right now. I was rough editing and now I'm going to relax for a little while. Trevor should be home in the next 20 minutes so i'm gonna relax before he comes home and then we are probably gonna go eat dinner together and then go to the movie i'm so excited about this movie like you guys don't even understand i've been waiting to watch this movie literally since 2019 when they released the trailer look who's finally home hey Ooh, I look we're white. about to oh my God. <laughs> compared to me yeah like but we are about water. to go to dinner we're gonna grab dinner and then we are gonna go to the movie theater and yes. i'll bring you guys with but i might record some on my phone and not on the vlog camera so we'll see you in a little while all right guys i didn't vlog a lot while i was out actually trevor has some updates so i'm gonna leave you guys out here with him for a little while tell them how you liked the the movie i am working on something so uh yeah went to go see in the heights loved the movie i thought it was amazing um definitely go see it uh highly recommend 10 out of 10 and we're probably gonna go see it again because she loved it that She'll probably love it that much. I'm not gonna lie. Um, get the hell away from the mosquito. Nobody asked you. Um, so yeah, I scheduled our our date. Sorry, mosquito. Get the hell away from me. I scheduled our date, and using Fandango, that lovely app, I was uh, clicking on one. Didn't want to go there, and so it redirected me. I get the ticket. Today we go after work. Had a nice little dinner, hanging out. And yeah, we show up at Cinema Hark. That wasn't the correct one. So it's already 5.30. And the movie starts at 5.30. And so we're like, the lady looks at the phone and she's like, this is the wrong theater. You purchased tickets for this theater. We already bought popcorn. We already bought Sour Patch watermelon. <laughs> we already bought a huge thing of soda. And I'm like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? And this would only happen to me. Just my luck would happen to me. And so, yeah. Uh, we haul ass to the theater again there. I immediately go to the concessions counter. I'm like, so y'all are probably going to laugh at me. And I understand if you make me throw the popcorn and drink that I bought the other place away. But I bought tickets for here thinking I bought tickets for over there. That's why the concessions are different. Is there any possible way I can take this popcorn and drink inside? Please. And they were dying, they were laughing their ass off. They were like, it happens, go ahead. And so yeah, I scheduled the wrong, is it venue? I scheduled the wrong theater. So yeah, lucky, lucky me. So that's how that went. Um, tomorrow, uh, beautiful Miss Ivy is gonna be hanging out with friends. I will be hanging out with the guys if they even show up. Um, but I'm just going to have a me day. I think she's going to have a her day. And yeah, that's how that went. 
Yeah, he told you about us going to the wrong movie theater. I told you guys, like, I think you guys think that I'm overreacting all the time, but these are just Trevor things. Like, ju hashtag just Trevor really things. Are. Baby, you could have used my car. I was just thinking about that. Yeah. Hashtag just Trevor things. But now you guys are on my car, which is actually a lot taller than I would have thought. I loved the movie. What would you give it out of 10? Oh, I already told him. What did you say? 10 out of 10. Did you tell, don't spoil what happened, oh, I, but I did, did, I did how many times did you cry? Uh, one. One? Yeah. I cried, how many times did I cry? Like three, four. I think it was like five. There was like other times I wanted to cry, but I kind of held it in, but it was really good. So if you guys are into movies like that, In the Heights, Lynn Mountain Well Miranda. I loved it. So now Trevor's working on his project. The sun's starting to go down, but it feels nice outside. It's hot, but not like horrible.